Okay, now I'm going to come into my start menu on client one. And I'm going to go down to Windows Kits. Okay, now remember that won't be there until you install Windows ADK and Act and all that good stuff. Okay, but at this point I'm going to come down to where we see Windows Imaging and Configuration Designer. Okay, so we're going to select that. It'll take a second to load here. Okay, now I started a project earlier. Um, I didn't know it was going to save there. Okay, but we'll start a new one in just a moment. Okay, now we have right over here towards the left, provision desktop devices. Okay, now that this is just kind of more of a straight through wizard here. Okay, but it gives you options whether you want to do a kiosk, a surface device, okay, mobile devices, or even the HoloLens, if you're familiar with that. That's the hologram ones. Okay, pretty new. And then advanced provisioning. Okay, now I want to demo the easy way first, and we will take a look at the advanced provisioning. And it is truly limited by your imagination at that point. There's so many options and features there, it, it just gets ridiculous. <laughs> in a good way, of course. Okay, so what we could do is we could come in and we could do a new project. Okay, all right, so let's uh, come up to the top here to the file menu, and I'm going to do new project. Okay, now I can give it a name, all right, and uh, for the most part, let's just call it, you know, custom desktops. Okay, and then from there where it's going to be physically stored in the file system. Now I can change that, but I'm going to go ahead and take the default here. Okay, and at this point, you know, it starts giving me options here on what edition of Windows or how I want to, this project to go. Okay, now, this is one that we can do, and we can kind of follow the wizard, but I'm going to close this out. Just kind of want to show you there's various ways to do this. Okay, but I can also come right here to the easier methods and just flat out say, you know what, I need to provision a desktop. Okay, now at this point, I'm still going to call it a custom desktop. Okay, and we'll do finish. Okay, so it's going to create the deployment package. Okay, or the provision package, excuse me, and look at the difference now. Okay, now we still have not seen the advanced settings yet. Okay, so just more than one way to do this. Okay, now, this way it kind of holds your hand the whole way through, okay? Now, it wants to know, set up a device. Do you want to give it a, a unique name? And you can have it randomly generate certain characters, so that's what the RAND is, or you can just have it do the serial number. So the, the example they're showing you there is really using the domain name dash, and then the percent, serial percent is more of a wild card, saying in, insert the serial number of the device here. Now the next one showing Fabricam, which is also a domain name, dash percent ran for random characters, colon five, any five characters, and then of course open and close between the percentages, which means wildcard. Okay, but you know what, if I'm doing it for one device, then I can really just call it whatever I want. Okay, so let's say we just call this one comp one for computer one. Now, if we want to go ahead and type in the product key here, we can. Okay. If we want to allow the device to be shared by more than one person, now that would typically be for guest users or a kiosk. Okay, and then we can also remove pre-installed software. Now that's huge for real world if you think about it. Every time you buy a, de a device, whether it's Dell, whether it's Lenovo, whoever it may be, they have all their custom applications on there. Their little support centers, their little media players, and all that. So we can have that removed every bit of that. And you know what? That's huge because that's one of the main reasons that when we do buy computers that already have Windows installed that we still blow them away and still push images there is because we want it wiped clean. Okay, so now we can have all that forcibly removed from that device. Okay, now I'm not really going to set that there, but you know the idea behind that in real world is very nice, very luxury to have. Okay, but the idea is you're going to walk through each one of these little phases here and go next. Now, we want to see a green check there. Now, we may see yellow, which means you have some more things to fill out there, and which also means it's not going to work. So we're looking for green light the whole way through. Okay, now, I'm not really going to join a wireless network here, so I'm just going to go ahead and go next here, but you'll see it does not like that. 
Okay, so that's what I mean by yellow. Okay, so I'm actually going to go back. It's required, so I'm just going to pretend like we're joining a... Now, in real world, chances are you are going to be joining a, joining a wireless network. So you would type in the SSID here. Okay, so I'm just going to put org company. Okay, now I don't, I'm not really going to be using Wi-Fi with my VMs or my demo. Okay, but we'll just put org company Wi-Fi. Okay, and then we'll say we're going to be using Wi-Fi protected access to personal with a password. And I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero there. Okay, now it wants to know whether we want to join in an Active Directory domain, enroll in Azure, or just a local administrator, meaning a workgroup environment. Now to keep it easy for right now, we'll just do local administrator, and I'll call him admin1, and then we assign him a password. Now this is not the built-in administrator, this just would be a regular user account that would be a part of the administrator's group. Okay, now from there we can also add applications, and we can add more than one. Okay, so I'm going to do add here, and then I'll browse out, and uh, <clears throat> now this is just saving from a previous demo. This is uh, basically a shared folder on server one called software. Okay, and I'm just going to grab this MSI file right here. Now, this is a Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And for the name, I'll just call it MBSA, Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer. Great little tool here. Um, not really worried about the tool itself, more about deploying an application with a provisioning package. Okay, but at this point, you will see that it actually does the MSI exec command. Okay, so it's showing MSI exec space forward slash I for install, clarifying the .msi package here. And then the forward slash Q at the end is quiet, meaning no user inter interaction and do not even show like the progress bar of the app being installed. Okay, now from there, you can have it continue after installation, after failure, because we can add more than one app. Okay. And then you can also force a restart if you know that the app requires that. Okay, now from there, I'm going to go ahead and select Add, and you see it add the application. So can I continue to add more? Absolutely. Okay, but I'm good with one for a demo. Okay, and we'll go next. Now at this point, we can also add certificates, which in the right situation, that would be huge. Okay, here we're just going to go next for right now. Okay, now we've got green light the whole way through, so the... Image Configuration Designer, or the Windows Configuration Designer, does like what we have done so far. Okay, and then it also gives us a little synopsis of everything that we have done. Okay, now you can also protect your package by assigning a password to it. I would probably do that in real world, but for lab, I try to keep things pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Okay, but at this point, you'll see you are ready to create the package. Okay, so I'm going to do Create. Okay, and it's going to start creating the package here. Oh, and it has been created. Okay, that was pretty quick there. Okay, now it also shows you where to, they store it. Okay, so I can click on this. Okay, and we see our package here. Okay, so we see custom desktop. Now at this point, I can take it straight to the device and really just double click it. Okay, now I'll go ahead and double click it on this device just for kicks. And if anything, it's at least going to install the application. Okay, so at this point, is this a package from a source you trust? And of course, yes. Okay, and it's going to make the changes. Okay, we're going to minimize this. Okay, it's going to sign me out. And look at that. It's already installed the application. So there's the Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer. Okay, and uh, maybe it's not going to sign. It shouldn't. <clears throat> the MBSA doesn't really require a reboot, so maybe it did figure that out. Okay, but uh, from there, actually, let me come right back in here. Okay, but you see it did install the app, so there's the shortcut for the application on the desktop there. Okay, and then if I go to my settings app here, Okay, and we go to apps, we're going to see it installed. 
actually, you know what? Let me get a control panel. Let me do a more vivid one here. Okay, I'm gonna get a control panel, programs and features. <coughs> oh, <coughs> now it's restarting. Okay, so it is gonna reboot the computer. Okay, we'll go ahead and let that happen.